Hi, hello again, and welcome to this short video where I'm going to quickly run through um, starting our proctored assessment. So this is the, the final step, really. And before you get to this point, you should have done uh, carried out a system test, um, which I've gone through in one of the previous videos. And that system check should have been performed on the device that you're going to be running the assessment on, and also in the setting that you're going to be running the assessment on. So, you know, in the room, in kind of the place that you are going to be doing that assessment. So, um, what you'll receive an email that says, here is the link for your exam from do not reply at epat.ncfe.org.uk. And, um, that email may well go to the junk um, folder in your inbox. So, you know, if you are expecting to be doing a proxy assessment, it is running up to the time and the day that you're expecting to be doing that, do check that junk folder because the, the emails can sometimes go there. Um, so, yeah, you'll, you'll receive this email. It says um, kind of, hello, welcome to your online invigilated exam. Uh, this email contains a link to start the assessment. There's a few things to check before you launch. Ensure you're using the latest version of Chrome. Ensure you've got your pop-up blocker settings described in the candidate quick guide. Um, ensure that you've installed the Chrome extension as described in the candidate quick guide. Have your photo ID ready. Or if you don't have um, photo ID, you, you should have already spoken to your um, training provider about this and they, they should have put something in place with, with um, EPA plus the, the endpoint assessment organization. Now, if you have any technical issues at any point during the assessment, you can use the live chat function. So do make use of that. Um, but what we're gonna do now is just get started with the assessment. So if I click launch your exam now, that's loaded up in a different screen. So here we go. So next step. Your exam timer only starts after you click the start exam button at the end of this set of procedures. So that's just to let you know that. So please make sure that you've used the toilet so that you're not going to be um, leaving the device halfway through an assessment. Make sure that you are alone. Um, make sure that the, the room is well lit so that the, both the cameras can, can view you um, and have a good, good view of you. I'm just going to close that pop-up, but that's the little chat box that's there. And click allow on that and make sure that the room is well lit. Uh, yep, so I've just done that and now we can hit next step. So the services are offered in English, so we're going to hit next step. So it's going to ask me to share my screen. So let's share the screen. Um, it did ask me to do the microphone test, but I think I was talking, so it, it, it passed that test. And then we can hear the groovy sample music. And close all apps and tabs, except for this one. Remember to hide the screen share. So I can just click that hide button there and click next step. Oh, it says that I've got more tabs open. So I'll just close that two tabs open with that other tab. There we go, that's just the email. Hide that again and then click next step. There we go. So um, these are the steps that we're going to have to undergo now. So I'm going to have to identify myself, set up the smart device, show my surroundings and set up my cameras. So if I hit continue. So first of all, you're going to present some ID. I don't have any ID with me today, but um, you know, you'd, if you were using a passport, for example, you would just show the passport using the square like that so that you're clearly, clearly identifiable. Um, and then you would take that picture. So for, for this one in particular, I'm just going to say take a picture. And then it's going to ask you if you're happy with that. Um, and that picture should be of your ID. So take the picture of your ID so it is uh, verifiably you. So then we're just going to hit submit photo. Great. So now it's going to ask you to take a um, close up face photo. So I'm just going to get into position for that go there. So then if I hit take picture, there we go. 
and then submit that photo. And then what's going to happen is that um, that picture of your identification is going to be validated against the picture of you. So now we are going to put our phone into airplane mode and activate Wi-Fi. And then using the Proctor exam um, app, I'm going to scan this QR code. And that feed is going to come through. So, and it's going to tell me as well, everything after this point is recorded. So when I do this, make sure, so show us the computer and the keyboard. So if I do that, you can see there's the computer. There's my other keyboard because I have a different setup. I also have a two screen setup. Now you're going to want to have that second screen turned off. Um, you only want to be doing these assessments on one screen um, because the assessments can see everything that kind of goes on whilst that's taking place. And you can move that around to show there's no, there's no other things. Then we're going to hit next step. So now show us your desk in the area behind the computer. So again, there we go, there's the desk. And behind the computer, there's just just more desk in the um, and that. Then we're going to hit next step. Shows the space under your desk and your ceiling. So there, that's the space under my desk. And you know, there's there's the ceiling. And you're going to want to do all four corners with that. So then we're going to press next step. So shows the four corners of your room. That's one corner, two corners, three corners, four corners. But you, you know, when, when you do it, you're going to want to do it in a kind of a slow motion, um, circling around just to, to really kind of show that, that there isn't anything else in this room that is really going to, um, help you with the assessment. So now um, you're going to have to show your ears to make sure that there's no devices plugged in. So because I'm recording this on a webinar, I do actually have headphones in, but you know, you're going to do that and show both of your ears to show that you, um, you don't have headphones in. And then we're going to hit next step. So there we go. So now you're going to place your mobile camera beside you. Um, it should be at least three meters away and and show that your phone is plugged into the socket so i mean we're, i have quite a small desk so this isn't really appropriate for um undertaking a proctor assessment but really you you're going to want it to be a good distance away so like that so that you really can kind of take in everything but just for the purpose of the assessment the purpose of this video that phone is just going to be there Um, but when when you are actually taking an assessment like this, the the phone will need to be placed um, at least three meters away, just so that there is full coverage. I mean, because my my desk is quite tiny and it is a corner desk, so I'm not able to do that. Um, but for taking a live assessment, you would need to to place it at least three meters away. And um, show us any additional material that you'll use. So. You can take in blank pieces of paper, um, you know, for, for taking notes and for writing things. So if you have any blank pieces of paper, you just hold those up and show them uh, there. So, yeah, you're allowed to use pen and paper as it shows on the screen. And if we hit next step, make sure that you're sitting directly in front of the camera. Quick, I am able to see myself. There we go. So then it's going to show from both angles um, and it's going to say before you proceed, check your cameras. Are they positioned correctly and is the room light enough? If you're ready, click start exam. Then you click start exam. That will tell you that this page must remain open through the entire exam. That's really important. And then what you're going to do is find this key code. So that is important. So you're going to copy that 
and then click launch test. That's going to take you to the other um, page where you can actually take your assessment. So epa.surpass.com. You can enter in the key code and then hit OK. Then it's going to confirm. So last name, first name, test name and language. Confirm. You then have to tick the box to say that you adhere to the code of conduct. And then there's going to be some introductory um, information about that test. So the test is made up of 50 questions. You have 50, 60 minutes to complete the test. Exam conditions apply. You must comply with the instructions of the invigilator at all times. Um, but you know, in this circumstance, it, it's all of the guidance that I've just been through. Um, you'd be presented with a range of scenarios, and then you know, these are just going to be bits of information that are important to the test that you the test that you are taking. Now, the timer doesn't start until you hit the start the test button, and I'm not I'm not going to do that today. Um, because this is a, a live assessment paper, so there are live assessment questions. But as we've been through step by step, that um, should show you exactly what is required in setting up for the um, for the proctored assessment. Now, I hope you found that really, really useful. Um, and you know, if you have any other questions, do watch the other videos. There's going to be a how to do a system test and also a quick. Um, Kind of what is proctoring and some important top tips but yeah i i hope you found this um this video useful um and good luck with your assessment thank you